I want to introduce to you my good friend Sydney. So Sydney's going to come on down. Uh, Sydney went with us to youth camp, and while she was there, gave her life to the Lord, and then felt the Lord leading her in believer's baptism. And she is here today with her parents, uh, ready to celebrate that and just begin this new part of her life. And I know she's so excited. She has written her testimony, and she wants to read it herself, so I'm going to allow her to do that now. Okay. I grew up in a Catholic church and was baptized very little. I went through the things that you would do in a Catholic church as you become older, CCD classes. I never knew what that was, and I still don't. Um, First communion, confirmation, and all of that. I never felt like I belonged there or truly understood the word of the Lord. I was never able to pay attention in it. I did it because it is what I had been taught my entire life growing up. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the church, and I love the people there. I grew up with them, and I all love them. But I didn't realize there was a whole different church out there waiting for me to show me the way. I never knew that I was able to find my own way when it came to my faith. I went through a lot of things in high school that never took part in my faith and actually put in effort to learn. It took a toll on my faith and trust with the Lord when bad things continued to happen to me. Well, today I'm able to say that I'm extremely blessed that I was able to find a church that I enjoy going to that also teaches me the Lord's word. Today shows me that I have come far from where I was, which is doing things because the church in the church because it's what I had to do. Now being able to make my own decisions for myself. I am here today to get baptized and reclaim my faith while also confessing that I'm a child of God, not only today or tomorrow or how long I live, but I'm a child of God always and forever, alive or not. Amen. All right. So Sydney, do you believe that Jesus was both God and man? And you believe that he died on the cross for your sins. Yes. And that he was resurrected from the grave. Yes. Amen. With that profession of faith, I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in baptism. Raised to walk in a new life. Join me as we pray over Sydney as she moves on from this place today. Father, we thank you for Sydney and her heart for you, Lord. We pray that you continue all the next coming days, weeks, and years, Lord, just to continue just to work in her and renew her and restore her to you, God, in whatever way that looks. And God, just prepare her for the next uh, crop, Lord, that you have, that you're preparing right now, and that she would be ready to pour that same uh, faith into those people, showing them your glory, your will, and your way and your love for them, God. We love you so much. Thank you for Sydney. Thank you for this church. May we walk with her and beside her. She is never alone. She has this community, but Lord, most importantly, she has you. We love you and ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> 